Lights can be used to create a different look, feeling, or mood in real life, in 3D games, or in 2D games. Phaser 3 has a light 2D pipeline that's pretty easy to use. The code looks just like this. But where or how do we get that second texture called a normal map? And what is a normal? Asking for a friend. And how would we use this in a more realistic scenario where a game uses tile maps? We'll answer all that in this video. The easiest way to create normal maps from your game assets is to use a tool like Lighter. It is open source and available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can also create one in an image editing program like Photoshop. This will give you the most control, but also takes a lot more work. We'll be using Lighter in this video for ease of use. Open it up and the main views you'll care about are Normal Map and Preview found in this dropdown. The Normal Map option gives you these controls to play around with. Height and Softness for Enhance and then Height, Softness and Distance for Bump. You'll see the Normal Map image change as you adjust these values. But what are we really looking at here with this gradient of colors? To understand that, we'll have to know how a normal map works, and firstly, what a normal is. A normal is a unit or directional vector, meaning that it's a vector with length 1 that is perpendicular to a polygon's surface. Normals are most often used in 3D games or models to determine how light should be reflected or interact. This means that 3D models with more normals, and therefore more polygons, would look the best but this required too much processing power to be practical. So a bunch of smart people spanning 20 years from 1978 to 1998 built on top of each other's ideas and landed on the clever idea to store information about normals in an image. This is called a normal map, and it builds on top of texture mapping to project a 2D image onto a 3D object to make otherwise boring 3D models more detailed and realistic. Textures store color information so a normal map repurposes RGB color values as XYZ vector values. You'll notice that these are very similar structures aside from the letters. RGB values are from 0 to 255, where 0 is none of that color and 255 is all of it. These values are mapped to XYZ values in the range of minus 1 to 1. That's why you'll see the right side of normal maps appear more red as they point more towards X equals 1. Parts that point towards the screen or camera with a Z value of 1 will appear more blue. And if they point more towards the top, well, they'll be more green. The coloring on normal maps should make more sense now, but nothing beats just trying it out. So adjust some numbers, switch to preview, and then see how it feels. Once you're happy with how things look, export the normal by going to export and then choosing where to save the file. The default option will put the normal map with an underscore n appended to the file name next to the original image. You'll get something like this on the right side using the Light2D pipeline. But what if your game uses tile maps? For that, we can just take our tile sheet and drag it into Lighter to create a normal map. Then we can export it like before and load it into Phaser in the same way. Or a super simple way to take a tiled tile map JSON and get the basic Phaser 3 code for displaying it, we have this free tiled parser tool at arcade.co under tools. Lighting effects can then be enabled for specific tile map layers by setting the pipeline to light 2D like we did for images. Remember, you always have to enable the Lights Manager for any of this to work. You can use lights on particles, sprites with animations, bitmap text, and more. For more on game development on the web, check out this video.